what was what what was the intention of verse 20 amen that your name multiply amen i can't hear a lively thing that amen like this is a prayer and the days of your children you will not lose your children though in the land well, to your father to give them. Listen to this. At the days of heaven upon the earth. My God, my God, my God. This is exactly what we are enforcing on our union this morning. This is exactly what we are enforcing. At the days of heaven upon the earth. Let me quickly say this. Let me quickly say this. It is very pivotal and very important that husband and wife ways together every now and then. Now, why did I say so? Do you know that the scripture recognizes the union, the prayer of husband and wife in a sense that two are better than one? Yeah. Now, let us understand the power, the potency, the efficacy of the prayer of husband and wife. Hey! And we always make them to have misunderstanding so that they will not pray. No wonder we are told in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27, neither give place to the devil. What does that mean? If you don't give place to the devil, you always have the time to pray together. For the apostle understood that the devil is very angry with family, angry with home. The devil knew that if it does get at the family, the smallest union, and then he can get at the society. And he gets the society and gets into the church. The church is made of the family. And now if all the family are injured emotionally, are injured spiritually, injured uh, family way or maritally, the church becomes a weakling, a, a weak church, a coward church, a weaker church. That's why you are very intentional. The brethren on the platform should know that Monday is dedicated for prayer for their own. We don't have any other prayer. Do you know you can't overpay your family for your marriage? Some people think praying and spending to pray for your family. You cannot pray for your marriage. You cannot overpay for your marriage. In fact, you need plenty of prayer to sustain your family. You need plenty, I mean plenty of prayer. To sustain your marriage. The devil is fighting to the nail. Celebrity are breaking homes here and there. Divorce rate is increasing in Alami. Even pastors and leaders, church founder, everywhere is becoming an issue. And here we are. We really want to enforce things. Look at it in that scripture. I go back to that scripture in Deuteronomy chapter 10, 11, verse 21. That your days may be multiplied and the days of your children in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give them at the day, <clears throat> excuse me, at the, <clears throat> the days of heaven upon the earth. We want to pray this morning, and we are beginning this way in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm going to dwell on this verse. From this verse of scripture, which is our lead verse, I'll be picking on that scripture, other places. But this is well, I will dwell. Just this verse 21. Only this verse 21 is what we are praying about. But I will be using it and reading other scripture alongside with it. So we are beginning with the first part that your days may be multiplied. What does that mean? Amen. It means that you will not lose your children young. It means that you will not Amen. die as a man. Let's start Amen. with our parents. Let's start with our parents. Oh, uh, right. Let's hold on, hold on, sir, hold on, sir. Uh, a few years ago, I went to do MC in the no. in the city of Portal Court for one of our beloved sister, uh, who happened to be our sister welfare coordinator on campus, and they were together on campus. And this particular sister, very lively sister, so we became close. And so when she was to get married, so the I needed. Recording has started. I needed to do a MC for, uh, for the occasion, for the reception. So I traveled to Potaka, mm -hmm. even slept at night and all that. Eventually, what happened? Just last week, Tuesday year, I lost that sister. She died. She slumped and died. That, that mm -hmm. sister got 
at 30 something years, 30 something. <laughs> now she's not even up to 14 now, she's about 39 to 40. So even getting married at 30 something, and then our baby did not come immediately. So the baby is just about one year now, and now mother slum and died. The same day she celebrated her husband's birthday, last week, Tuesday. Hey, now, that is like not it's the will of God. It's the will of God. There are things we don't attribute to the will of God. I hope we had the GS yesterday. You will not lose your maturity. I hope we had the yesterday. The declaration. I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus. As a man, if you're on the platform, I don't think there are women on the platform now. I think this is just for men who want to ask the Lord. You as a pastor, as a leader, as a man, you will not lose your wife prematurely. Now, when I meet with Amen. 70 years, you are not still old yet. You will see your great-great-children like Job. Amen. You will see your great-great-children who want to pray in the name of Jesus. Your wife will not die and leave you now. Oh, Amen. God, my wife. The years Amen. of will multiply. My years shall be multiplied. My wife will not become a widow overnight. Lord, keep me, keep my wife. The name of Jesus, that your days may be multiplied. I can't hear us praying. I can't hear us talking. We lost a sister here or a mother here at the age of 61. Our daughter is so lovely, one of our children that I know, very lovely sister in the chorus, in the choir, and even the, the woman herself. And the, our own case was a kidney problem. Yes, some brethren contributed and all of that. And the surgery, whether it's surgery, we call it now, the, the transplant rather was done. Spending over 25 million, over 25 million. That woman still died. She still died. She still died. And it's quite painful. And so you hear women having what they call, I, I know a woman I lost to cancer of the breast. So this cancer of this, uh, kidney of the liver of the, we want to pray. Our wife will not die of terminal disease. Please, I'd like you to Amen. be intentional. I want Father, to in the name of Jesus Christ, my wife will not die of terminal diseases, no cancer, no liver, no kidney disease will come near the abode of my wife in the name of Jesus Christ, even my daughter, in the name of Jesus Christ, they will never be attacked by any terminal disease, call a kidney, whether kidney, liver, Lungs or cancer, they shall never be attacked. They shall never be victims of all these terminal diseases in Jesus' name. My wife will never be a victim of terminal disease. Cancer, lung, kidneys, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're praying, please pray. Don't get tired. We're praying. Talk to God in prayer. Talk to God in prayer. Talk to God. The Lord will take you away. Every trace of sickness in the enemy to cut my wife at all. 
with any terminal disease in the name of Jesus. Christ. My wife must never, she will never be a victim of cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, oh God. She will never be a widow in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, keep the both of us alive to live. Amen. 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 The Lord answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. We take the second part in the second and the days of your children. Oh my God. And the days of your children. Yes, uh, very pathetic that we had on the platform. Somebody lost their daughter. That's not the purpose of God that uh, children should go before their happy about uh we want to pray right now first and foremost the lord will console that mama the lord yes. will comfort that mama the lord will comfort her we prayed for her last night we cried to god we you know call upon the lord on our behalf last night but we can still pray for her this morning let the lord comfort her it's not easy it's only those who have gone through that will understand in the name of the lord jesus let the lord comfort our beloved mommy let the lord console her let the lord come true for her at the time in the name of jesus christ a mother losing a daughter took in the name of Lord, I pray for every member of this platform. None of us shall lose our need for our sister. Lord, we pray that you are comfortable to her. As they are consoling her, we be upon her to console and comfort her with members of the family in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord, Father, you come. Oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We pray. Amen. Amen. You want to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every hour to destroy your children, to kill your children, and to exterminate your children. That arrow will not work. 2023, yes. you will not over your children. I want you Amen. to this 2023, you will not cry over your children. In you the name of Jesus Christ, I will not cry over any of my children in 2023 and beyond in Jesus' name. Every arrow to terminate the life of my children or to block their way from progress. In the name of Jesus Christ, that those arrows shall not work and they will backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, God, to block the life of my children. The life of my children. That the love, the life of my children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Keep our children alive for me. I will not cry over any one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not weep over any of our children. I rejoice over the children of my children. Continue to emanate in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, O oh God, preserve them and make us to be careful throughout this very year in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, we want to pray. Do not say in the language the Lord that goes to unto your father to give them. Now, before we go to the last part, in the land where the Lord swear unto your father to give them, we want to pray that inheritance the Lord that promised us as a family, as a home, as a union. In the name of Jesus, we will not miss that inheritance by the Spirit. Amen. 
of the living God. We will not miss that way. Now, you want to remember what God has promised you. So this is peculiar to each family. You know what you have been asking the Lord. Let's talk to God in prayer now quietly, and we will testify. We will testify. We will testify. That our every arrow that is. Everywhere conformed against us in our heritage, and to deny us of our heritage shall not work but backfire to them. Open a week of every blood, but natural every member of the family in the name of this. Father, thank you and bless you. Amen. Amen. As the days of heaven upon the earth. Wow. As the days of heaven upon the earth. Let me explain that to you. Amen. As the days of heaven upon the earth. What does that mean exactly? As the days of heaven upon the earth. Let's look at it this way. Let's examine heaven. Let's look at what happens in heaven. In heaven, actually, you don't find anything for sickness. Sure. Actually, if you read the Revelation 21, verse 4, tears and cold and pain are wiped off in heaven. In fact, there is a song we say. Also, uh, uh, most people, uh, uh, something, uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, it's not talked about no, more, no sorrow will be had in heaven, something like that. So, and that is what heaven is known for. It's all joy, all happiness, all gladness. And God is saying, as the days of heaven. That's why I said we will enforce it. Enforce it through prayer. And we will remind God and say, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as the days of heaven. Now, we want to look at our family. This one is peculiar to each family. Personally, there is something I've been praying for concerning my eye, my health, and then I will pray it now and remind God in heaven they don't have issue with eye, and then and then you will remind God something. And they are open where there is barrenness. Now the scriptures say categorically there shall not be barren in the land. Yes, that's scripture. And they are open where financially things are totally down, completely down. Then you remind God, in heaven there is abundance. Then there will be abundance in your family too. In heaven there is something of unemployment. And so employment is coming your way. In heaven there is joy. Where you have not been a joy, let joy come in. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I am praying from the earth. Heaven. Upon and the earth, oh Lord, the Lord, the Lord, we know, yeah, in the Lord, name of Jesus Christ, delayed of no weeping, delayed of no weeping, delayed of no childbearing, never be the portion of my daughter. I pray this very clear. Yeah. Bless you, come from my daughter and your husband in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will make it happen and our testimony shall be shared on this platform. And those hearing us will begin to join in the name of Jesus. House of God to praise God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lastly, as I as I hand over to Pastor Peter to take us like 10 minutes or 15 minutes before you hand over to Pastor Peter, uh, Pastor Matthew, just 10, 10 minutes there, but so Pastor Matthew can have some time to lead us very seriously. I want to pray right now. Um, I want to call upon the Lord. Now, this is the last prayer point on my part here. And the prayer point is this. I, I want us to take note, men. Uh, we need to study our wives the more. We need to understand our wives the more. And uh, we need to deliberately make sure that nothing comes between us that will make us not to have time 
to pray with our wives. Have you realized, men, pastors and leaders, that when there is misunderstanding, am I saying that misunderstanding or I'm not misunderstanding with my wife? Several times I've had misunderstanding with her. There's nothing to hide. Several times, I mean, several times, there are times I will have to find out but it has to be done in law. It has to be done in law. It has to be done in law. And you must not dwell in that misunderstanding. If you do, prayer will be answered upon. If you do, the devil will get into that hole. So I am very conscious of that. That even when there is an issue and she's not talking, she's just quiet. I can't just be quiet. The house is quiet. Everywhere is quiet. When scripture says, neither give place to the devil. Before you know it, the devil begin to bring subversion into the family. Before you know it, hatred, bitterness, resentment begins to come in. Before you know it, other things set in. That's why yes. the devil is very crafty. Very, even though it's not omniscient and omnipotent, oh, but brother, your word is very crafty. And charity begins Get it can be peace. Peace. Don't pray here. Don't pray here, sir. Amen. I want to pray and tell you that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power that we come in between us and our wife, we still pray that prayer. We still pray that prayer this morning. Every power that we come in between us and our wife, and just be causing unnecessary misunderstanding, unnecessary sorrow, pain, agony, so that we cannot pray together because the devil is afraid. He know that if you can hold your wife hand, there are times like this, just few minutes where many of the prayers I even pray with my wife, they are not long, long hours or hours of hours. No, but that few minutes, I am telling you, there is this confidence in my heart. I just know that God is answering. I just know that something has happened. I don't, I don't know that joy. We, we understand what I'm saying. Once I hold her hand like this and we are saying something on the situation, it's like you can tell the power in, the, in unity, the power, that's what the devil is afraid of. That's what the devil is afraid of. We want to pray every power in law, whoever, demonic agent, demonic personality, whatever that we come in between all, oh, the Lord will yank them all. Clear them out of the way Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. Father, Amen. Amen. For your truth, pray, O oh Lord, that you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Every power that we want to cause to fission and make us to get this understanding that we can pray together, oh Lord. I feel so and I will come that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will continue to pray in unity, overcome every misunderstanding to love and live to. This privilege Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the answered prayers. Blessed be your holy name, O God, for which you all things in Jesus' name. We are in Jesus' name. We pray. Now, I see man. That line of prayer, the Bible says, one which is a thousand. But two, we put 10,000 to flee. You can see that mathematics, one to 10. We are going to pray that God will give us the wisdom that the day will not continue to rob us of our benefits just because of ignorance. Let's pray that God will make us wise. Let's pray. Let's lift up our voice to God and say, God, make us wise Father, so that we will put the place of family in total perspective in our lives. When I say our lives, my life is not my wife. Lord, that more than we are will not come in between us to cause us to misunderstand issues and to never go the same way, never remain in one. But Lord, the power to grace to remain one in unity. And Lord, conquer Lord, whatever Lord, plan Lord, of the devil Lord, against Lord, our life. You give Lord, unto Lord, us with your throne in heaven in Jesus' name. Help us Lord, to Lord, 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 to live with one another, with mutual understanding in Jesus' name. To be Thank you, Father. Lord, 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 bless at your all time, Lord, 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 every minute of our life. Over Satan in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, brethren, let me just give you some practical examples of what we're talking about agreement between husband and wife. Like I, I do a kind of work that is online job. I'm ordered online. 
But you know that sometimes I want to go to work, maybe because of I want to start early on Tuesday. I want to go after Bible study in the night. Now let me just cross over to Lekki and I know that on Tuesday morning I'll be starting very early to be able to cover some gap. Sometimes my wife is not happy with me. Ah, dear, why are you going this night? It's not good. I'm not happy. No, I said, no, I want to go so that I can get there on time. And sometimes I just, ah, woman, whether you're happy or not, I am going. Do you know that I will move from here yeah, about cover some 70 something kilometers and I will not get a single request until I get to where I'm going. I will not get a single request. But when she's happy, I say, ah, the Lord will keep you. The Lord will provide for you. As I live like this, the quest will just be everywhere. Now we are going to pray that God will make us wise. Amen. You know, it's wisdom we need. Sometimes I want to go and see that she's not happy. I'll just stay back. I say, okay, dear, don't worry. I will sleep tonight. Tomorrow morning I will go. You understand? And when we are in agreement, everything is smooth. But whenever I look at it, I, I look at the program, I want to cover some gap early tomorrow morning, and I live without an agreement. It's always very difficult. Now I go to pray that God will give us that wisdom to yes. always be in agreement. Shall we pray? Yes. Our Father, we are going to pray that that wisdom that we need to always be that in agreement with our wives, wives so Lord. So that we are always be in agreement. I have my wife. We are always going to pray. I agree, agree to get our own in Jesus' name. Father, I want to pray for me that you that give me the power to go to the Lord. Always be obedient to your word. Father, you grace to all of us to be obedient to your word. Grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. At all times in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer to prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Brethren, when we talk about disobedience, is doing the don't. That is disobedience. You know, when you go through the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. You now became disobedient when you do what the Bible said you shall not do. Let's pray that God will give us the grace and the spirit of always being an obedient child. He pays to serve Jesus. A songwriter says that. He pays to be obedient to the word of God. And when you are obedient, a lot of things happen. A lot of things come cheaply and very smoothly. Let's pray that this week, as we come into this week, that God will make us obedient children in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? My Father and my God, I step into the beginning of Walking to to you, Lord, you, you, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, in the name of your friend, thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for this working week that God will prosper us. Where our brother already said, we are going to have the days of heaven upon the earth. I will know that in heaven, Nothing fails. Everything works right. No matter what is happening around us, that, that we are going to pray that God make this week a week of success, a week of heaven upon the earth for every one of us. Those that are working in the office, God will open doors for them. Those that are doing their own businesses, God will open ways for them that this week would we'll look back and say, Thank you for how you have dealt with us this week. Let's pray that God will open those doors for us this week and nothing will come short on our way this week in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Amen. Father, Father, that your mind has been and guide us in order to do this work, O Lord. In the name of me and my wife, 
of the earth, the face of heaven upon the earth. Father, we pray, O Lord, that as we look out this way, O Lord, you will open doors in the Lord that no man can shut. In the name of Jesus, open the door of heaven, O Lord. Make us prosper this week, O Lord, and beyond, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless you, I for us to pray that you pray for us. As I will travel this morning to Badon. Lord, go in heaven, I pray that your presence will take me to Badon and bring me back to my children for this, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, let your name be glorified in our life. Father, let your name be glorified in our life. Father, let your name be glorified in our life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Uh, now, before I hand over to Pastor Matthew, I'm going to, um, I want us to pray that God, this week as we come in, we, like this morning, uh, my wife asked a group that she prays on, they, they were praying, I said that somebody came on a visit and was going back and he was kidnapped. You know, this issue of kidnapping, kidnapping is still on. Yesterday also, we saw a news flash that train was also attacked again in Edo State. Let's pray that as we go into this week, that God will keep us. We will not run into any kidnapping. We will not run into any arm robbery. We will not run into any uh, accident, nor all these uh, people that are causing trouble here and there. That God, will, that the Bible has promised that with our eyes, with our ears we will hear, we will not experience it. Let's pray that God will keep every one of us and our families safe throughout this week in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for the heaven. I am that I am the one who has power over every one of us. Preserve every one of us. Commit ourselves to your table heart that throughout this very week and beyond, nothing evil shall be for us. Myself, my wife, my children, and members of this platform, all our well-wishers, your presence, will be with us and you will protect us from the numbers Make who not break down. I will not have any of blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. And your name will forever be glorified in our lives. Your name will be glorified in our lives. Preserve every one of us throughout this week, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Preserve us, O Lord. And for the Go into any happy and danger throughout this week, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer Amen. prayer, O Lord. In Jesus' Lord. name, we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we want to worship and bless your name for thank the gift of life. We thank you thank for you, this Lord. new week. We adore your name for how you have been with us since the beginning of the year. We are already in the second working week of the year. Oh Lord, go now. We pray that you will lead and guide us in all that we do. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for the privilege to come before you in prayer. Thank you, we pray, oh Lord, as we come together this morning, all that your servant has led us through. Father, according to your promises in your word, we will be beneficiary of your promise this morning, oh Lord, and throughout this week and throughout the year, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we commit our partners, our wives, our children, our husband for the women. We pray, oh Lord, that your hand will be upon every one of us throughout this year, oh Lord. We will not lose any one among our families, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You keep our children for us. We will not receive any bad news concerning our children. We will not re receive any bad news concerning our partners. We will not re receive any bad news concerning our loved ones in Jesus' name. Amen. The wisdom to walk, to serve, and to enjoy you. Grant unto every one of us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. For me, the weak, O Lord, to your hand. We pray, O oh Lord, that you keep us, that you guide us. There's no weapon formed against any one of us. We prosper, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As the day of heaven on earth, we live and enjoy this uh, week, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.
thank you, Lord, for the answer prayer, O oh Lord. Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Pastor Matthew, please. Pastor Matthew, you can take over, sir. Hello. Hello. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, I, want to, I want to appreciate every one of us, and I want us to go to uh, a very mighty prayer this evening. We have a little time. Are you Are you hearing me, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want us yeah. to go into. Uh, you know, there are some things. Again, the time with God, all things are. Uh, Possible. Possible. But there are a lot of things God can do, but He will never do. Today is Monday. God can turn it to Tuesday, but God will not do that. Uh, there's a lot of things like that that it is possible for God to do, but He will not do. But there's a lot of things He can do, and then He will do. The good example is the situation of Lazarus. Okay, this month is it, already dead. Three or more four days. The month has been in the burial ground. He has been buried already. And then, many people on the today, to many people, he can never write again to them. But God was saying he was sleeping. That, that Lazarus you are saying, is going to get up again. Many were just even those who were crying, the great crier. Hey, no, 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 no. How is that possible? The right. same thing in many marriages. Mm-hmm. Things have that's gone that's down. Things right. have gone far. Uh, the thing that many, it is not possible for God. I mean, for that marriage to be reconstructed. But I want us to know, with God, all things are possible. In all marriage, the devil has put his hand. In all marriages, that even the couples, I will I remember, Pastor Peter, we are hearing your voice, either you move it or In all marriages, where are the couples? They were allowed they to come in. In all marriages, that it is not their plan. But they, they never know what is marriage is. And they just come to it. By the time the, the, the challenges of marriage come, they couldn't bear it. And they are some of them are they are in everlasting. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will bail it out in the of it. Everlasting regret mm-hmm. for having that marriage. We now call upon the name of the Lord. In all marriage that is experiencing that uh turned down and things has gone wrong totally. The couple, the wife doesn't know what to do again. Because the mistake have already made, and he or she cannot correct it. The wife, I mean the husband cannot cannot correct it again. Because the mistake has already made, and he cannot correct it again. But with God, all things are possible. We call upon the name of the Lord. For all the couples that are experiencing this, and they are not enjoying their marriage, and they are not satisfied, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will be to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father and our God, I commit as many couples all over the world that are having problems with their marriages unto your holy house. Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, spoke to the raging water, raging sea. Peace be still. Whatever problem that we be going on in the life of our brethren, in the life of our children, and in their the marriage, of so the far, let there be peace in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak peace into their homes in the name of Jesus Christ. At this 
Mm-hmm. I mean, I remember those becoming one and one and one. Let's call on God in the name of the Lord. That by the power and the power of all those marriages, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God that do impossibility in the death of Lazarus, Lazarus, that by the power and the power we remember those marriages in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever may be the root of the name of Jesus Christ, that God will be in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak peace in the name of Jesus Christ. That God will be in the name of Jesus Christ. That God will be in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be peace. Let there be love. Let the power of our God in the Christ begin to emanate among this people in the name of Jesus Christ. And let peace continue to rule and reign in the life of all our marriages and our homes in Jesus' name. Help us, O God. Help your children. When there is peace in our home, there will be great, great, a real great passion for your work. In our lives, but I do it and let your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Help your children glorify your name in the life of our marriages in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be love among us. In the name of Jesus, love for our wives, our wives will love us back. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Amen. When a marriage is being killed, generations is being killed. Mm-hmm. When a marriage is in the is in the mess, generations are in the mess. In the sense that there's nothing children want to learn from that marriage than something than something opposite, if not by the grace of the Lord. That's why we need to call upon the name of the Lord. For all, all the money that is that is going through trial, for all the money that is going through a lot of things, for all the money that is going through, through the devil attack, just because of their children, not because of the generation to come. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that God will have his mercy upon those marriage and visit them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. You may ask me. Father of the world, God. The I am that I am. Why do I have to do a lot of things? Lord, the one who does what to do. Father of my God, commit all our marriages to your holy. In every area, Satan will want to come in and cause havoc. Father, plug them up. Root out every root of trouble in the marriage is Jesus' day. I commit the children of Christ unto your holy hand. I commit the one of us to marriage into your holy hand. And every other marriage. Yes, yes seem to be misunderstanding a lack of love, commitment, love. Have your way in them. Bring peace to reign in them in Jesus' name. Have your way, O God. Make us to be peaceful in our marriage. Peace, greater love, love of Christ in between husbands and wives. All of us in Jesus' name. Amen. There are some marriages that the the early faith comes from than Bible, biblical doctrine. Wherever that case is being happening, I'm telling you, it's very real for those marriages to survive, especially when they are Christian. You can never, I mean, compare culture with the marriage. Uh, in, in culture, there's a lot of things that is there that is not biblical. And when a couple, couple does not allow the bi- biblical doctrine to reign in the marriage, there's a problem. Last week, we prayed you know, when honor yeah. is being destroyed in the, in the marriage, there's a problem. Today, I just, I, the, the, it's almost the same thing. When honor is being destroyed in the, in the marriage, it's a problem. When biblical doctrine is not being obeyed, it's not being followed in the marriage, that's a problem. We call upon the name of the Lord. 
for every marriage that who has taken away Bible out of their hands and replace it with the ordinary law and replace it with God's commandment that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to preach to those marriage and keep them back their, their biblical doctrine in the name of Jesus Christ. As a Christian, let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, all the marriage that Bible has been taken away, that Bible has been taken away in that marriage, they do not obey the food, they do not obey biblical doctrine again. But they say this is what if my culture say. But they say this is my my culture say. As a result of this, the marriage is being destroyed. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, we pray to some marriage again and return the biblical doctrine into them in the name of Jesus Christ. And return the biblical doctrine into them in the name of Jesus Christ. And the biblical doctrine into them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, every marriage, every marriage, how they deal with the culture. you for the, the way and the manner we have been led this yes we definitely do with this time home in particular and we want to, to make sure no Christian survive is constant the Lord is surviving by okay we pray, oh God, any home that have been captured by Satan and sin and society. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We'll enjoy our own. We'll enjoy our finances. Our wives will not be sick. Amen. Will not be able to have Amen. anything with them. God forbid it will not be this year in Jesus' name. Keep our Amen. wives. Keep Amen. Our Amen. Intention and your purpose and plan for our life this year. No Satan, no demon, no powers of darkness. We truncate it in Jesus' name. We cover ourselves Amen. with the Amen. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name, we prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. Let's share the grace together. Thank you. The grace, the grace of, the of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of Amen. God and the fellowship and the of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Be with us Amen. now forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life. 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 Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. God bless you, sir. We will Thank enjoy you, our marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
bringing us to your presence this evening. Thank you for all your best thoughts all through the day. And as we have come to you this evening to sing praises unto you, accept all our praises in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because of our answers. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercies endure right forever. Amen. For his mercies endure right forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest, amen, for his mercies endure right forever, amen, for his mercies endure right forever, amen. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul shall shout hallelujah. Praise God for saving me, for saving me. His goodness and all he has done for me. My very soul shall shout Hallelujah, praise God for saving me. From east to west, no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. From east to west. I say there is no other, there is no other God from east to west, from north to south. I say Jerry, Alleluia, Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia. Singing Alleluia. Uh, lift up Jesus, he is King of Kings. Lift up Jesus, he is Lord of Lords. Lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Lift up Jesus, He is King of Kings. Lift up Jesus, He is Lord of Lords. Lift up Jesus, He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord. Since I believe in Jesus' name, I have never been disappointed, and I will never be disappointed. What about you? In Jesus' name, I have never been disappointed. And I will never be disappointed. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, that I may see. Open my eyes, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Open my eyes, O oh Lord. I am ready to obey. I am ready to obey. Hallelujah. Open my eyes, O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord, 
Alleluia, open my eyes, O Lord, I am ready to obey, I am ready to obey. In the word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. There is power in the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. In the word of God, there is power in the name of Jesus, Every knee must bow. There is power in the name of Jesus. Every knee must bow. It is the word that sets me free. It is the word that sets me free. It is the word, the word of God. It is the word that sets me free. What about you? That sets me free. It is the word that sets me free. It is the word. The word of God, it is the word that sets me free. His word is yea and amen. I find it yea and amen. His word is yea and amen. I found it, yea, and amen. What about you? His word is yea, and amen. His word is yea, and amen. I found it, yea, and amen. Amen. I found it, yea, and amen. I stand upon the word of God. I stand upon the word of God. Oh, I stand upon the word of God. I stand upon the word of God. I stand upon the word of God. Are you standing upon the word of God? Church, stand upon the word of God. Stand upon the word of God. Open my high O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord, I am ready to obey, I am ready to obey. Amen. 
So shall it be in Jesus' name. You are welcome to today's Monday Bible study in Jesus' name. Also, anytime we gather like this, we have our friends, our visitors, and global converts, global crusade converts who are worshiping with us for the first time. Please, if you are a global crusade convert or visitors or invitees, kindly rise up on your feet for this recognition. They are coming to Deeper Life headquarters for the first time, Bagada. Thank you for standing up. Any other, please stand up. You are in presence of loving brethren. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Please, no clapping, no clapping, no clapping, no clapping. Let's take note of that. No clapping. Even when the choir is singing, please don't clap. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Our pastor, the convener of GCK, is happy that you are here. He wants me to tell you that you, as you are here tonight, the Lord that has been blessing us to him will bless you in Jesus' name. As you continue coming, more blessings are awaiting you in Jesus' name. Our ushers are standing by. They will give you a slip each. Kindly collect it from them. Fill it correctly in capital, capital letters and turn it to them. Please sit down and God bless you in Jesus' name.